SBG PNG case. <laughs> On the back of the transaction announcement with Kina Bank, ANZ PNG CEO Mark Baker today reaffirmed the bank's commitment to Papua New Guinea. ANZ are not leaving Papua New Guinea. We are not leaving Papua New Guinea. Our financial commitments to the country remain absolutely as they stand today and they will remain as they stand. And quite, quite apart from that, we have a really positive view of the country in the future for a number of different reasons, not least the, the incredible resources which the country have. He said the deal with Kina Bank was not done in isolation as it was part of the ANZ Group's simplification strategy while also supporting customers with trade and capital inflows within the region. This transaction is about a wider ANZ Group strategy. We've made it clear since 2016 that really we want to try and focus on institutional and large corporate banking in those markets and have less of a focus or move away from retail banking and the SME segment in those markets outside of our home markets of Australia and New Zealand. So the transaction from yesterday in Papua New Guinea is really just all about that strategy. It's nothing, it's not a reflection on PNG. The deal with Kina Bank would now see Kina taking over ANZ's 15 branches, 72 ATMs and over 1,800 FPOS terminals. Mr Baker also assured employees of ANZ that there would be no job losses through the deal with Kina Bank, which would be a win-win for both banks. Not one single uh, member of ANZ staff will lose their job. Not one, not one single person. Every person will be offered a, a role by Kina uh, on comparable terms for the areas of retail, commercial, SME. The, the staff that are remaining with ANZ, they carry on as normal. Um, they're just focusing on corporate and institutional banking.